What a summery September stretch we've had here so far. Two days in a row in the 80s, putting us now at three days so far in September that we've climbed to an 80 degree temperature or higher. Yesterday we hit 84 degrees here into Green Bay. A little bit cooler though into Sturgeon Bay with a high of just 69 degrees. So wide varying temperatures here this morning. We're kind of uniform finally. The coolest spot will be about 58 degrees into Mountain, 57 into Watoma, and 55 at Sheboygan, the rest of us into those mid 60s as you head out the door. Now pay attention to what is going on into the UP and Northwest Wisconsin. Notice some warmer temperatures sitting up there. Yeah, look what's riding right on top of that. Showers and storms firing up along a front and some of them have been severe worn throughout this morning, putting down nickel size hail into Minnesota. Frequent lightning strikes, heavy downpours, and this is going to be the case and moving our way as we head through our evening. So right now, Oh, it's, it's kind of cool. I just want to show you it's actually snowing in the mountains. Pretty interesting little fact there, but here for us, we're waking up to actually some sunshine expected, especially by the lake shore. A few clouds starting to build in to mountain this morning. Now this front is going to be a slow mover. Notice how it barely moves to the east and it continues to take its time as it drops south as well. So a good chunk of today we're going to be hot, humid and breezy. Winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour, sunshine abundant. This is 11 p.m. when the clouds want to start to push on in. Now, yes, of course, this evening we could see it get cloudy a little bit earlier. A few spotty showers possible as we roll through tonight, especially if you're into the north woods, you have that better chance earlier. Now tomorrow this continues to take its time dropping down through the weekend and we're going to get some fall cool air blasting in behind it. But for First, we have to get through today. It's getting sticky. It's getting muggy out there. You can see the temperatures and the heat index is going to be soaring to those mid 80s once again, but a very rigid line. This is the other side of the front. So as that hits us overnight tonight, we are going to expect some heavy showers. Now thunderstorms are possible. Severe weather looks to stay off to the northwest, more towards Rhinelander and up towards Marquette Rice Lake area as well. We are expecting thunderstorms to roll through, but could be strong at times with pea size hail associated with it, heavy downpours and flash flooding, but we're not looking at any other severe thunderstorm risk with these. So here we are through the overnight hours, spotty showers likely. Here's that heavier rain expected to start to move in through Saturday afternoon. We could see some thunderstorms in that as well. We calmed down Saturday night, but then Sunday overnight into our um, Sunday afternoon, this is when the heaviest rain, the possible flooding will be hitting the Lakeshore Fox Valley area over and over again. So you're going to want to keep an eye on that as we take a look at how much rain could potentially fall anywhere from two to even four inches as possible locally. So we could see some rising rivers, definitely some flooded areas that we usually typically see flooded as well. And this risk extends all the way down the shores of Lake Michigan as well. So if you were headed down to Milwaukee or Chicagoland area, keep that in mind and always turn around. Don't drown because water is powerful. If these rivers are rising and we are getting some flooding, you're going to want to take those precautions out ahead of time. Right now is the day to do so. So make sure you're prepared out there. Otherwise, though, today's going to be bright, beautiful, hot and humid. That's for sure. Temperatures climbing back into those mid 80s for us today, hanging on to summer for one last day. Tonight we drop down into the 60s. Showers and storms start to fire up and we stay cool tomorrow, only rising a few degrees, staying in the low to mid 60s for us. And we're going to hang on to the 60s, unfortunately, as we go through the rest of this weekend as well. Like I said, it's going to be a fall feel. It's going to look like it out there. Those leaves are going to start changing too with those cooler temperatures temperatures holding on for a few days, but we do rebound back to the 80s as we come out of this system with some sunshine by Wednesday and Thursday as well. It's like fall's trying to move in, but summer won't let it. <laughs> exactly. It's just a game. It's a fighting game between the two. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. Yes.